I lost my son to the sea. And I really would never like anybody else to ever have to go through this. I didn't once ever think, do you wear your life jacket? What safety gear do you have? Have you done any of your courses? Just didn't enter our minds to think that. Because, you know, if, if you're gone, you're gone, but everyone else that's left behind has to suffer that for the rest of their lives. Yeah, that was put on just as a, um, to take the jacket forward because you fishermen had said there was actually we want it wider on the back. So today is an event funded by the uh, Seafarers and Trinity House and the MCA and the Fishing Industry Safety Group to improve the, uh, the awareness and the benefits of wearing a PFD should a person go overboard. So throughout the UK we lose a lot of fishermen, it's the most dangerous peacetime occupation. Most of the casualties are from man overboard situation so the slip trip fell unexpectedly into the water so it's not from an abandoned ship situation so if we can at least stop that happening that will bring the casualties down by at least 50 percent we're trying to raise the awareness and the benefits of calling for help and wearing a personal flotation device to extend your survival time should the worst happen and in the background we're also working on preventing that but the physical element of this afternoon is that we'll be going into the pool unaided without a pfd with oil skins on the normal working clothes and just swim till you can't swim no more. Average time is usually about two and a half minutes. Oh, that was hard work. Surprising how heavy the clothes and all your gear is in the water. So, yeah, it's a struggle to keep afloat for that loop. That's very hard work, definitely. Hopefully it's a lot easier with a life jacket. That's hard. It just shows how well these life jackets actually work. Um, I don't like to be in the water without one anyway. You can relax a lot more, you can breathe. Well, I will start wearing it from now on, especially with all this gear on. Stand fishing is a dangerous occupation, but there are things that fishermen and fisherwomen can do to prevent loss of life. You may think you're fit, you may think you can swim, but you put that gear on and your wellies and you don't really have a chance in there. If we can just change, you know, a few people on the coast to start wearing this kit and equipment, you know, it's gonna start catching on. If there's anything that you can do to kind of ensure not only that you're getting home, or your mate on board to get home and do it. So we're trying to encourage fishermen to wear a PFD. It's very important if you go into the water that you float, that you can call for help and then we can come and assist you or somebody nearby can come and assist you. A man overboard plan to be rigged and ready for any incident to achieve that successful recovery within 10 minutes is vital.